Hello? I'm sorry, I'm muted. It's better? Are we good? <laughs> Welcome to my, my kitchen. Today we are going to be doing our first cooking stream in the house. I'm uh, actually going to be making Wander's dish, um, which is uh, unagi chazuke, but we are going to kind of like switch it up because I did not have any unagi. So, um, what I did was I have I have salmon that I defrosted, so we're gonna do salmon instead instead of the unagi, which is okay because like from what I read about the like the dish, you can really just use like any fish if you want for this specifically. All right, so let's get started with the salmon. I have to bake this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually preheat the oven. No, 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 off, off, off. Get off the counter, sir. <laughs> Yeah, okay, we're gonna set to 450, I think. And then we're gonna bake it. I'm gonna season it and then bake it for about 15 minutes. I'm literally about to, I'm about to break my camera. All right, so next up we're going to season, just let me move my water bottle. We're gonna season the salmon. I need, I need a pan. All right, I'm gonna use some salt and some garlic powder. I don't know where I put my, my pepper. I found it. It's also weird because like y'all are like, I feel like y'all are in my house. Like even though obviously I've been in like my room in my office, so like y'all technically have been in my house but now I really feel like you're in my house. Does that make sense? All right, we're taking out the salmon. I get my salmon from Kroger because it's cheap and it's free range. Free range? Wild caught. Free range is like chickens. My salmon's wild caught, but also it's cheap at Kroger if you're in the US. Um, I'm gonna get some olive oil. Actually, let me do it like the, the Food Network. You wanna get your EVOO. And I don't use any measurements because um, I'm a chef. So I just kinda go in and, um, actually, can y'all see? I just realized that y'all can't see. Whoa. Okay. Whoa, Jesus. <laughs> okay, here we go. I've got my um, EVOO and <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pour. I'm just gonna go in. I'm just gonna do a little bit. I'm just gonna like dot the salmon just a little. We're not gonna go too wild. I went wild with this one, but you know, sometimes you gotta get a wild, you gotta get a little wild in the kitchen. Okay, then we're just gonna rub it down. We're gonna rub in that EVOO. So good, so delicious. <laughs> okay, just gonna do, and once again, I'm not measuring because fuck it. Okay, I'm gonna do some pepper. Fuck it, you know? You just gotta... For me, personally, I'm half black and I'm half Filipino, right? So when I'm seasoning my food, I basically listen to my ancestors. And when they tell me to stop, then I stop. That's how I measure my food. My ancestors are like, oh, 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 too much. And then I'm like, okay, done. <laughs> A little bit of garlic powder. All right, so we have our seasoned salmon. We don't wanna like go too in on the seasonings, right? Because we want to, we, we just don't want it to overpower the rest of the dish. So really basic, salt, pep, a little bit, salt, pep, garlic powder, and that's it, you're done. You're done, you're done. And perfect timing because the oven is ready. So Alexa. Set a timer for 15 minutes for salmon. Listen, sometimes Alexa doesn't listen to me and so I have an attitude with her now. Because she be ignoring me and she be hearing things that I didn't even say. Okay, we are going to start the broth, I guess it, it's called. Kind of like the broth. Okay, let me get a small pot. 
this. Oh my gosh. Wait, do they do they say this on cooking streams? Or not cooking streams, like cooking shows anymore? I wish that we had smell o vision so y'all can smell the salmon. It smells so good in here. Oh my God. Uh, we need one teaspoon of soy sauce. Y'all, look at my soy sauce. Is this not so cute? I got it from Epcot at Disney World. It's on the stove. We're gonna bring that to a boil. Um, what I did was, so there's two different, there's two different types of chazuke apparently, and I'm making the dashi one, but I was trying to make the tea one because it explicitly says in his thing that it's tea. So we're gonna be making both. Uh, okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're actually gonna, we're gonna prepare the, um, the tea version of chazuke because I'm preparing the dashi one. So this one, we're actually just gonna make tea. Um, traditionally, it is made with jasmine tea, or sorry, green tea, or whatever. Um, I'm gonna be using green jasmine. I'm using uh, this one from Kusmi Tea. I don't know why it's not, oh, there it goes. Uh, and it's actual like tea leaves, so I'll be using, it smells really good. So we'll be using this. Actually, you know what, y'all? I'm starting, I'm starting to think that we don't have rice in the fridge. Give me one second. Just kidding, just kidding. Everything is fine, we've got rice. We got rice, we're good. We are good, everything is fine. Okay, we're gonna add some rice. So the recipe does say that you want rice that's like cold or like like basically rice that you've already cooked. You don't want like, you don't want hot rice for this basically. I'm literally looking up how long to steep jasmine, jasmine green tea because I couldn't remember. <laughs> Alexa, stop. Okay, is that crooked? Could it be crooked? I don't know if it's crooked or, I feel like it's crooked. Coming over to show with Koga, where is he anyway? Where did he, that was Pixel. Oh, Koga's over there by the, the couch. All right, so this is the tea version. So what we're gonna do is we are going to, we're gonna put some salmon on top. I'm gonna do like half a piece of salmon and put it on top. Oh, okay, so then once you actually put the salmon on top, actually, let me turn it. So what's next is that you wanna dress up your bowl. Um, this is the part where you can honestly like put uh, whatever you, well, not whatever, but like people do different things with their chazuke. So like this recipe actually says you can do bubu arari. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it's basically tiny rice cracker balls. You can do Japanese pickles like umiboshi, which I actually have some, so I'll be doing that. You can do nori, nor norwe? <laughs> nori, um, obviously salmon, unagi, sesame seeds, wasabi. You can do some sashimi, uh, scallion or mitsuba. So you can really do different things here. I have a couple of those things, so I will be doing um, a couple of different things. So it's his looks very plain. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the tea, the salmon, and then some nori. Also, this is done. This is for our second bowl of chazuki. We're gonna do the uh, the what's it called? The the dashi version. So. Okay, I'm actually gonna do, so I have that, I've got the nori and I've got some sesame seeds. I'm gonna do both, and I think, yeah, we'll do the pickled plums on the other one, so. All right, all right, so let's dress it up. I'm gonna take some nori. So I'm gonna try to do that. This looks, um, definitely not as nice as in the actual game. All right, I don't know if that's, I feel like that's maybe enough. Um, and then we'll do uh, some sesame seeds. Some sesame seeds. Okay, it's time to pour the tea. Here we go. I don't know if y'all saw, but I just made a mess. I made a mess. This does not look as pretty as, yeah, as the game. Let me see if I can like form it. 
to how it looks in the in the game because it's like it looks like a little flower. Mm, 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 mm. I did my best. Let me get a spoon. Okay, we are going to taste it. Gonna get a little bit of the salmon, some rice. Okay, and some tea. Here we go. It's very hot. <coughs> this is actually so good. This is actually so good. I'm so surprised because like, because this one, this one specifically is pretty plain. It's literally just the salmon that I seasoned, rice, and then the jasmine tea, and then the nori. But surprisingly, this is actually really good. It's very cozy. So I'm gonna add a little bit more nori because I know that his dish also had a butt ton in there. So I'm just gonna add a little, I can, or I can drop it. What's the flavor? So I don't really know how, it's very like, I don't know how to describe it. So obviously you have the, you have the rice and you have the, the floral jasmine tea flavor. And then when you get a bite of the salmon, you've got the, the salmon flavor and then the nori. Like I'm trying to just, I don't, I don't know. It's a very dyna dynamic. Is that the right word? There's, there's like, it, it just, everything works really well. Mm-hmm. This is really good. All right. Now we're going to make the, the dashi version. This one's going to be really dressed up. Okay. We're going to do some more rice. Okay, that's, that's good enough. Okay, uh, we're grabbing some salmon. I actually got a little bit more salmon this time because I feel like this one is gonna be super good. Okay, we're also gonna do some furikake, which furikake is basically it's nori, but it also has some seasonings in it. So this one has sesame seed, um, it's got some uh, sugar, seaweed, salts. So this one's a very simple one, um, but yeah, it's really good. I like it. Got two, actually maybe this, this is too much. I really like green onion. I feel like this might be too much. Maybe I just need one. All right, we're gonna do, we're gonna do uh, some more nori. I really like nori. Y'all, I, I just, I realize that I've said that I really like everything that I've been eating here. I really like food. It's very, it's, I, I like to eat. Big fan of eating. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Good boy. Okay, Pixel, come here. Come here, Pixel. Come here, Pixel. Ready? Koga. Come here. No, Pixel, stay. Koga, over here. Sit. Ready, Pixel? Good girl. Okay, everyone is sufficiently. He's. Um, we have umiboshi. For anyone that has never had this, this is Japanese um, pickled plums, basically. They kind of smell kind of sweet, but they're definitely pickled. Like you can kind of smell like the vinegariness of of it all. All right, this is the sauce we made earlier, which is supposed to be like the dashi sauce. All right, so we're gonna get, we're gonna take like, I think like one, we'll try one first, put it there. I love sour. All right, so this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna take a bite with the, um, with like a little bit of everything. This is good. It's it's definitely more savory than the last the last one. This one, if you like savory, this is good. Okay, we're gonna try the umiboshi with um with everything. I'm gonna try a little bit of the salmon, a little bit of the nor nor nori, <laughs> and um, some of the green onion. Here you go. 
Mmm. There's a pit in the middle of these. This is really good. 